the Bolshevik Revolution, um, Bolshevik, Bolshevik was basically the term given to the radical party that supported socialism and Marxism, widespread communism. Um, they uh, overthrew the temporary government that was in power following the February Revolution. And to begin with, they, um, they supported democracy and they, they supported democratic voting and, and the democratic system. But they found that um, they may have had the popular support in Petrograd, the capital, but when they actually held the elections, they only received 25% of the popular vote. And they did not come out on top. There were two other parties that won more votes than them. So they decided to um, disintegrate the democratic system, uh, get rid of it, and they declared themselves dictatorship of the proletariat. Now the proletariat, they, when they say proletariat, they're referring to the working class or the people. Um, they ultimately turned Russia into a communist state, and this is where the Soviet Union was formally established. The leader of the Bolshevik Revolution was Vladimir Lenin, and we're going to talk about him and a little bit about his contributions. Lenin was the founder of the Bolshevik Party. He was not in Russia in the, during the time that the February Revolution happened. He, was, he had self-exiled to, to Europe, and he, he came back and... He started the Bolshevik Party and basically gained popularity quite quickly and in six months time had organized this bloodless coup and came out in charge. He was the first leader of the Soviet Union and he was a devout Marxist. A lot of um, Lenin's contributions were not all negative. Some positive changes that he brought to Russia was industrial industrialization and um, delegation of land. He also, there was an upspring, upswing in education. Um, this was the first time that a monarch was not in charge and the, or someone from the aristocracy. He was um, from the intellectual pool or the, the in, in industry or workers. And with this upswing in education led to the eradication of illiteracy, which is very important as we go um, further into World War One and World War Two. Um, after the revolution, um, when Lenin came to power, two things happened. Um, immediately, he ended Russia's part in World War One. He named himself ruler and ended the part in World War One. Germany was threatening to storm Petrograd, current day um, Saint Petersburg. So he signed an armistice, which is a, a truce or an agreement with Germany to cease war. And this did a couple of things. Number one, it led to a civil war in Russia. A lot of the Russian citizens were not pleased with what happened with the treaty that they had to sign. Number one, they lost land. Latvia, Estonia, and Lithuania um, being a few. And then there were some areas that produce coal and mining areas that were lost to Germany as well. Um, so they consider this